So in the basement of my parents' house, I found one of my textbooks for positive psychology. Now, we have a reservations about anything psychology related. There's a lot of experimental bad design, but just because there's a lot of experimental flaws doesn't mean the theory can't have some gems in it. And so what I want to do is I want to take this textbook and dig out some of the exercises in it. So when I took positive psychology, we had a little informal recitation where we would actually do these exercises, share with each other. And it was really fun. I found some of them to be, I don't know if they had long-term consequences, but then again, I didn't continue doing these exercises. So this is something that I've tried before, but now that I have this as a framework, I might try it again. So this is one of the first chapters and this exercise is called savoring. Obviously, if you know the word savoring, you probably know what it is. So savoring refers to our awareness of pleasure and our deliberate attempt to make it last. It's pretty self-explanatory. I will skip all the reading. I'll just jump straight to the exercise. We ask our students to stop and notice the next time something good, pleasurable occurs. It can be a letter or praise at work, but it can also be a good grade on a paper, a great meal, an engaging conversation, or a spontaneous adventure. You can tell this is aimed at college students, right? Nothing about money, <laughs> nothing about your kids, right? But anyways, you can apply whatever good the definition of in your life. Regardless, we ask the students to savor this event, and we suggest the following strategies. This is the gem part, the gold part. So... Number one, sharing with others. You can seek out others to experience, to share the experience. If that is not possible, tell others how much you value the moment. This is something when I started this channel, I think I was really good at. Sometimes I'd have funny stories, share with you guys, right? That was part of what I did that I didn't even know I did. We were savoring moments, for lack of a better word. Memory building. Take mental photographs or even a physical souvenir of an event and reminisce about it later with others. By recording a video, right? That takes care of both one and two. Self-congratulation. Do not be afraid of pride. Tell yourself how impressed others are and remember how long you have waited for this to happen. So this is framed bad. It's framed in the negative, right? Do not be afraid of pride. I mean, self-congratulation. It should just be something good happened to me. That's awesome. Just celebration maybe is the better way. I don't know. This number three is kind of a weird point. Sharpening perceptions. Focus on certain elements of the experience and block out others. Absorption. Let yourself get totally immersed in the pleasure and try not to think about other matters. So another word for absorption might be just fully focus or maybe be in the moment. So number four and number five is basically flow. That's another word you learn from positive psychology. Just really just focus on that, right? So... I think this is a really great exercise for you guys to try. I think when I did this exercise back in college, I just, one time I made myself a really good salad in the dining hall and I just ate the salad for an hour. So focusing on the tastes and everything. I think it was also my first time trying apple cider vinegar in the salad. So it was like a really cool dressing. So obviously by sharing with others, I wrote an essay about it, presented it. I don't even think I actually presented it in recitation, but I at least wrote something about it, right? So again, um, next time something good happens, share it. Maybe share it in the comment section here. Um, make a memory of it, whether a mental photograph, physical photograph, some kind of souvenir. Congratulate yourself and then just focus on it, focus on it, cut out other things and focus on specific elements from this experience if you can. I think this is a really cool little exercise. And I did a thing last year when mentally I wasn't completely there where I every day whenever something good would happen, I would write it down. But I don't think that was enough, right? It should have had a little bit more. Should have told someone about it. Should have taken a souvenir, maybe taken a photo or something or wrote something. Well, I mean, writing something was sort of part of the memory building slash sort of focusing on certain elements. But... There's little things I can incorporate from this that I definitely, yeah, I'm going to give it a go. Again, sometimes you look back on these exercises you do and maybe there's 
more that you can try to get out of them. Especially now you're in the real world for a little bit, man. So yeah, if you guys want more exercises from this positive psychology textbook, let me know. There's some good ones too. There's another one maybe I'll present to you guys tomorrow that I really enjoyed. And there was also one that I could say almost defined my path after college that I'll have to show you guys. So yeah, guys, we will talk more about this, man.